so our next topic is gifts and uh, this topic is very much important and this importance you can feel from you know uh, by looking at so many textbooks which is depicting the gates gates diagram on their cover page so that is the you know real importance of this gate in mechanical system and uh, so why we use this gate so these are used for uh, transmitting these are used for transmitting motion from one part to other so why we need to use only gears because you know manufacturing the gears and fixing it is a very very difficult task compared to other means of you know devices which transfer motion from one part to other part so for example if i take a belt so these are two pulleys or two shafts and i want to transmit you know uh, this pulley motion from this to this one and uh, this belt can transmit here but uh, why we are unnecessarily going for the uh, under complicated part that is a gear because if you see here bell you know the slip phase is you know always occur between this uh, shaft and the bell in this case but whereas in case of gear the slip phase is not there whenever there is a slip between the you know the driving part and the intermediate part then it's a called as a negative drive so belt is a negative drive but whereas if you use the gear then it is a positive drive positive drive means there is no slippage in the you know driving the element so this is a positive drive where gear is a positive drive. that's why we are going for the gear and the gear became very much popular here i have considered a simple example where the motion or rotational motion from the one cylinder has to be transferred to the you know uh, another cylinder so this is a cylinder one and this is a cylinder two so i wanted to transfer a motion from two to one or either uh, or uh, from one to two so in this case what happens these two are touch here how they touch they touch tangentially so when they touch tangentially either they can roll or slip roll means if it is rolling this is also roll in a, without any slipping and if it is a slipping if they are, if this is a slipping initial of you know uh, making other one to roll then there won't be any motion transfer to the second one but here in this case we considered you know very smooth cylinder and uh, the when the velocity is very small so when velocity is uh, very small then we can assume that there is no slipping so in that case the you know uh, velocity of this uh, and the angular velocity of this two is transferred to the angular uh, cylinder one but what happens if you eventually increase the speed of the this body two so in that case what happens this uh, slip phase will occur so when speed is increased or omega two is increased what happens the slip slip will come to picture so in that case to avoid this slip phase what we can do is instead of you know taking the plane cylinder we will take some you know projection like this some projections and some recesses you know in, into this one or something like this and here also we will take something like this uh, so that uh, it will engage with the you know um, the projection of the other body and uh, these projections are called as the tooth teeth so here teeth is a plural one and tooth is the singular one so that's how we will make the gears and uh, here if you consider this one the v velocity of this point which is a common point for these two cylinders can be written as a vp vp you know e equal to the radius of this into omega of this two or this r1 into omega1 equal to r2 into omega2 but we already know that you know omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 when n is in the rpm so we if you substitute these in this equation here r1 by r2 equal to omega2 by omega1 and if i write omega in terms of you know uh, n that is you know revolution per minute then it will become n2 by n1 so we need to remember this formula because based on this formula only entire gear problems can be solved 